Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to give you an introduction to the perform mode inside Scalar 2. Before I continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside AUM, I have created a new audio channel and I have loaded Scalar 2 as you can see. Okay, let's ensure that we have a clear state, so we click on clear state. Next, we select the scale, we click on scale, and let's search for something like the C minor scale, and let's select it. Let's use the triads over that scale, which sounds like this, and actually before I click play, I'm going to select the soft piano. Okay, next, the perform mode is up here. So you click on where it says perform and you activate it and you click on the down arrow to see what um, you have available, okay? And you can see one is already selected because I already used it before. So remember, it remembers the setting from previous usage. So let's start with the first one, Arpeggio, which is almost self-explanatory. You click on it, then you select the pattern up, down, up, down, etc. So let's say that we go only up, and then you go into this screen when you can select the timing, the note length, for example, um, if you want to make it sound more uh, staccato or less, it's like the gating, the octave range, if you want to go up more than an octave, and if you want chords only enabled, yes or no. So let's leave it as it is, and um, I encourage you to experiment anyway. So let's press on C minor. So we'll keep repeating the notes of the chords um, as an arpeggio. And of course, that works also when you are playing sequences of chords. Let me show you. Really nice, right? Because you can use that uh, as um, arranging for uh, your songs and your composition or to create songs, as I will show you in one of the upcoming tutorials. Okay, and just to show you some of the different settings, let's go to 1 16th, let's click play. Really straightforward, let's go up, for example, an octave. Or let's, for example, change the pattern. Click where it says up and select up, down. Really nice. Now click again on the down arrow, click where it says pattern to go up and then up again to go to the perform level. Now let's go through the next one, strumming. This is where you simulate uh, the strumming of a guitar. So you choose the speed or the profile here slower and then you also choose the direction alternate down up or random let's leave that as a default let's change the type of sound to guitar to an acoustic guitar and let's click play actually let me show you first on one chord you can see it's alternating the direction of strumming let's click play Really nice, isn't it? So let's go up again and let's choose another perform mode. So the next one which I'm going to choose is um, performances. Okay, let's click on it. You choose um, some category. In this, in this case, I just leave the, I just stick to the, com the common performances, then choose one of those. And then you go into the screen where you can choose the resolution, the style, the mode. And again, you have the option for codes only on and off. Now let's click play. <music> Let's try it with, for example, again, a piano, a grand piano, and let's click play over this uh, chord progression over the scale of C minor. Really nice, really, really, really nice. And again, you can play with all the different settings uh, so spend some time to understand how each one works. Next is phrases. This produces a melodic phrase. So let's stick to these again to come on uh, phrases. Let's choose the first one. We leave a resolution to one. Here, interestingly, you can choose the style from chord melody, chord melody, whop, up an octave, or a melody only. 
Then you can say based on chord or based on scale, which is really nice. And then the usual option on chords only. So let's click play. And these, of course, was following chords, but let's say that we want it on, based on the scale of C minor. So it works differently because it's based not anymore on the chords which are played, but on the scales. So um, just remember to check your setting, of course. Now let's go back up and you can choose so many different ones. It's amazing. Now, next is rhythms. So this is used to actually play the chord notes in a rhythm fashion, which you choose. Again, you can choose the resolution, the style, the mode and chords only. So let's press one chord. So let's uh, actually increase the resolution here to two. And now let's uh, use it to play a chord progression. Really, really nice. You can use these to create some interesting rhythms and I will show you in an upcoming tutorial also how to export all of that into your dough. Okay, so back up again. Let's choose a bass now. Yes, you can generate also bass line. Fantastic. So let's choose a pop bass, pop one, resolution. Let's go into try some of those. So let's go up here. Let's choose a bass like, for example, um, bass guitar. So now the resolution is too fast. So let's uh, uh, drop that down to one. Really nice. Maybe you want it even slower. So, and let's uh, click up here. Any other settings is we want the melody, of course. You can have also melody up and octave. You can go by chords based or scale based, the usual setting really. And let's play the sequence. Let's change the profile. Let's go to pop two. Let's go, for example, to a common bass, basic one. So you can hear this as a diff different rhythm, right? Okay, so let's go back up again. And then next, let's choose melody. So again, let's go for common, common A, and let's choose uh, the default one, let's say resolution one. You can have a melody, chord plus melody, or chord plus melody an octave above. So let's uh, uh, continue on these and let's select, um, in this case, as type of sound, uh, piano, soft piano. Let's click play. Let's choose chord plus melody. Really nice indeed. Okay, so experiment with these is really nice. You can create your own melodies and also with the chords part. Next are sequences, which again are based on um, scales of chord. Let's choose a synth one. Again, you can choose the melody, melody plus one octave, sequence based on chord base or scale, and also the resolution, etc. Let's choose a sound which is a synth. So let's go to this dusty nostalgia. Maybe probably not the best sound. Let's use something like this uh, plug sound. Perfect. So this is really, really nice. Next, we are going to move up and we have um, um, strummed sequences. Okay. You can choose between fast and slow. The type one, you have the resolution, the profile, which you can further drill down the direction, of course, of your strum. And then you can have variation if you want variation um, 
on and off. You can avoid lows and highs, really nice, and coach only options on and off. So let's choose again here a guitar and um, why not? And um, let's try a steel acoustic and let's try a chord. Let's try it over to now a chord progression. sound this one is a little bit better let's say for example uh well let's leave it as it as, as it is and but let's change the type of uh, profile this one So you have different settings, so just play a little bit and you will find yourself uh, very familiar very quickly with the way it works. So this was just a quick introduction to the perform mode. So there's much more, of course, to explain and go through for each of the different modes. Uh, however, I think the best way to learn those is actually to try yourself. And for each one of those, just to play on one chord, perhaps set the resolution down to a minimal, like 0 0.5, and then see what it does in terms of the notes which is playing. And just to make, and through that, you actually learn all the different type of presets which are included within Scalar 2. I really like this part because I can quickly create, for example, bass line, a melody line, some rhythms, and then I can use a different instances, of course, of Scalar 2, which each one will have a different instrument, and I can arrange a song very quickly. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to the perform mode. As you have seen, I'm building a series of tutorials. There is much more to come in terms of videos. Okay, see you next time. Bye.